Good morning. Today is Wednesday. I am the Moon Mama. How's everybody doing today? Happy New Year. Um, happy New Decade. That's what I really care about. Happy New Decade. I um, I actually don't really celebrate the this Western New Year um, generally, but a decade is a decade, and so that sort of brings my attention forward um, because we are in 2020, and I was with some friends yesterday, and we were saying like, oh, it's 2020 vision. Like things are gonna become really clear <laughs> this year, this decade, 2020. So that's pretty fascinating and fun. Um, I am the moon mama. Today the moon is in Pisces. And Pisces, and it feels like it's been in Pisces, in Pisces for a couple of days actually, which it has, but Pisces energy is about our collective connection to others and um, to everyone, not to others, but to everything. It is the field with which we are all having our existence in. And it sort of duplicates the energy of the ocean. If you think about the ocean, everything in the ocean, as you know, when you're from where, if you're from the outside looking in, like if you had an aquarium or something like that, you see that all of the fish are in this one field of water and you know that field is fluid and it moves and it um, it connects to everything and it, it absorbs everything it remains itself with with it becomes everything else but it also still stays true to itself like water is a really fascinating thing and that is the energy that governs Pisces um, so it's just this connective force so with that energy, it's very intentional. We have Mercury. Today is Wednesday, and Wednesday is Mercury's day, and Mercury is over in Capricorn. And Mercury in Capricorn is about the, is this opportunity to be very directional and focused and using like a serious focus. It's like a very structured energy. What are we doing? Where are we going? What's the value of this? It's about creating new systems. And this is really um, necessary at this time because we are, because everything else is also in Capricorn, which is Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter um, and the nodes. And we are in an eclipse window. So I'm saying a lot of things that maybe people don't have any real connection to in a practical way. So here's the practicality of it, right? It's, we're already doing these things. We're setting our intentions because it's 2020. Um, we are letting go of old behaviors that no longer serve us. We are um, taking full responsibility for ourselves and allowing ourselves to experience our own sovereignty. Um, like who we are, how we impact others, you know, what it's, it's one of the things that's so fascinating that I, I know that I don't think about often. And I think a lot of us don't is what kind of impact we're having on our environment and the people around us. Um, you know, if you are, are you the type of person that is uplifting and inspiring and, um, and, you know, forward focused and what people would like to call positive, I, I don't. You know, all of that is subjective in my view, but you know what I mean. Um, or are you someone who's sort of heavy and and downtrodden and, you know, full of despair and unable to, you know, sort of get clarity about what you're doing and so you sort of wander and you're, you're sort of aimless and, you know, where are you in that spectrum? Because this is the energy this year for us to get ourselves progressing and moving into a new direction because a lot of cycles have ended. And so you want to be mindful to be intentional and to like write things down. That's the thing, Mercury and Capricorn would write things down. Like this morning I woke up and my mind was filled with all of the people and all the things and the text messages and last night and out with my friends and you know, having a good time and all of that sort of stuff. And then I said to myself, okay, let what's my, what's my to-do list? Like I have to focus so that I can get all these things that I have to get done today done, right? You know, so I'm going to write a blog. I'm going to do this video. I have a client. I'm going to make a pot of black eyed peas. You know, I'm going to really focus my energy and I'm going to spend time seeing it the way I want it to unfold. I'm going to spend time 
actually visualizing it being exactly as, as I desire it to be. And how do I want to feel? How do I want the people that I'm going to impact today to feel? How do I really want to use my energy? And I'm going to be very focused and intentional about how it, should, how it will show up practically is my point. Okay, so um, for any of you who are interested in joining the 13 Moons initiation, this is a great time. The, you know, the most fascinating thing about this, um, this new year is that the moon is in Pisces today, and, and tomorrow the moon goes into Aries, which is always a new cycle, and we are going to be at the beginning of the year. So the, be the beginning of the year is really starting off in alignment with the moon cycle, which is really fun. Like, I love these kind of alignments and they're great. Um, so if you'd like to join the 13 moons um, for the first month, it's going to be $20.20. And, um, and I can send you the link for that. A every month after that, it's $97. What we do, there is we focus on how to use the energy for each month so that you can realign yourself and create your life intentionally. We I have created a system um, with the astrology and the moon cycles, um, Rakim Sekou created the moon cycles, the moon manifestation, and I added Western astrology to it. And what I do with my partner, Cheryl and Christine, is each month we lead you through the sacred practices that are aligned with the moon and the sun so that you can align yourself with nature with cycles so that you can align yourself with your natural creative power. The thing that's very significant for us to understand is that we are creators first and foremost. That is all that we are here to do is create and that is all that we're doing whether we know it or not. But if our energy is entangled in old ways of being and thinking and just depression and, um, you know, like, being outside of yourself and thinking that the next thing is going to be the thing that makes you happy. If your energy is aligned that way now, you cannot access your power. And so this work will help you bring your energy into alignment with yourself, your higher self, your ego, um, the cosmos, so that you can create where you are supposed to, what you're supposed to create, be who you're supposed to be, be with whom you're supposed to be with. So many of us are experiencing circumstances that feel out of alignment because we're not where we're supposed to be. I was talking to someone the other day who just joined the work and, um, and they were, she was telling me that she's a nurse and I'm looking at her chart and I'm seeing clearly that she really should be a teacher. Now she can teach something in the medical field or teach something that is already in alignment with who she is. But so many of us are doing things because we felt like we had to do it for money or, you know, le legitimate things. I need money. I need food. My kids need this, but we're out of alignment. And so we're not functioning at our highest level. And there's, you don't want to just like necessarily quit your job. You want to you want to align your energy so that when you leave one thing, the other thing is available. You know, that you can take a step that isn't, doesn't have to be a dramatic, life-changing leap that destroys you. Unless you, I mean, and not to say that sometimes we have to do things that are dramatic. Sometimes we have to take big risks. Um, but the moon work will help you align so that you don't have to, this is not about avoiding anything so that there's just grace is what I'll say so that there's grace and so that there so that you feel like you know what you're doing so that you can feel into yourself and feel aligned. So I would love to have you join that also um, natal chart reading so that you can know yourself better know what you're here to do really focus on what this decade has for you and how you should focus your energy best. I would love to do that. And for those of you who are moving through, you know, really wanting to um, end the generational trauma and things that we have experienced in this country as black people, if you want to stop those cycles that are, if they're functioning in your life of depression and heartbreak and scarcity, I would love to work with you. That is my expertise and it is time for you to get free. And we are ready. <laughs> we are ready. I love Tiffany Haddish. She's, is she ready? Yes, she's ready. So anyway, I'm the Moon Mama. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you this decade. And we are about to soar. It's about to go up. <laughs>
it's not going down, it's going up. Peace and blessings, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.